uh, Joel and Graham, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, congratulations on what has become such a successful animated series so far. Uh, what has been what has been the most rewarding part about working on on such an uh, such an epic and different uh, series that I I call uh, kind of a love letter to Marvel fans. I think I think ultimately, uh, you know, one of the things that's been most rewarding was was the opportunity to to work on a love letter to the fans, uh, where there was uh, so, there were so few limitations ultimately put on on what we could do as far as creativity was was you know concerned. It, if if somebody could imagine it and draw it, you know, the, then chances are we would try to get it on screen. Nice. <laughs> and that was that was one of the most amazing and, and kind of game changing things coming out of the show was um, how interested Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige and, and everybody else at Marvel were in, in trying to just get the craziest, m one of the most ambitious shows <laughs> in animated television, you know, up up on screen and, and, and serve the fans in that way. And that was that was really exciting. Yeah, I, I didn't expect to get the depth that we were getting so far. I mean, the, the Peggy Carter, I, I was I'm enamored with that episode. It's my favorite so far, despite the other ones being so good. The T'Challa episode had such had such a an important feel now, of course, because we we didn't know you know things would turn out the way they did, unfortunately. Yeah. And then just that really dark episode three with. with uh, with what happens there in case somebody hasn't watched it. I don't want to spoil it too much. <laughs> and then uh, this week's episode, um, it's just another chord. I, I mean, how, how, how far left and right are we, are we going to go? Uh, Graham, you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah, I think, I think that that's one of the really fun things about the, the show, um, you know, is that there truly is an episode for everybody. Even, even on our own crew, everybody has a wildly different favorite episode. Um, and, and I think that it can sometimes even depend on where you're at in that given, you know, week when you watch the episode. Mm -hmm. So I think that in a lot of ways, it's, it's really fun watching each of these episodes drop. I think that it's, once you see the whole show also, you're going to be kind of blown away by the, the breadth and the scope and how many different things you just watched. Um, so it, it truly does give quite a few different flavors. I, I agree. Um, yeah. So in, in working with with such as, you know, strong established properties, does that make it easier? Or does that make it harder? Or is it a little bit of both? I, I think that it, in a way you try and you're you're making this show, you know, so when you when the show is obviously influenced by the MCU heavily, and I feel like what if has been. It's felt like being in a test kitchen where we get to really try and push the limits. We really get to try some new flavors. Um, and I, I personally have loved those opportunities to see like how far down the rabbit hole of this genre can we go and, you know, try and does this fit? It does. Oh my God. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the MCU is limitless. So yeah, that's been a, a pure joy. Awesome. Joel, how important is that you guys were able to get, you know, quite, uh, quite a bit of the of the actual actors to come and do voice acting for the, for their characters. It was terrific. I mean, it was uh, a real honor and a treat to be working with such an immense, you know, roster of some of the best actors to living today, you know. Um, so it was, a, it was a real joy to be able to, to work with their performances and, you know, any, any wacky stuff that they brought to the table <laughs> as uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing how talented, what it, what it, what an incredibly talented roster Marvel has built over the years in the MCU. Um, you guys, so yeah, it's definitely been a treat. You guys obviously have to work with so many different departments. Uh, were there any challenges given given the state you know of the world right now and in, in bringing this together, or were you guys just very Zoom focused and got it done? <laughs> our our team we're we're extremely lucky having I think one of the best editorial crews um, working right now. Um, they rose to the challenge as soon as quarantine hit. We didn't skip a day. Um, we went straight into quarantine and we were working still on the show. Um, so yeah, we. We're extremely lucky with the crew we have. I think that um, animation in general makes it possible to, to work remotely um, somewhat easily. And of course the, the IT team as well has, has really had to 
yeah. do some really hard work getting everything working as smoothly as, as we have now. We're, we're immensely grateful to have been able to finish the show <laughs> remotely, that that actually worked. It wasn't, it wasn't always easy. You know, there was, there was, uh, you know, one episode that due to COVID had to, had to slide into the next season. So it's, uh, but it's amazing what, what the entire crew on the series from, from local, you know, Marvel crew to, to the vendors, what they were all able to accomplish under those, those immense pressures. <laughs> Joel Graham, congratulations on a fabulous series. I'm looking forward to, to it every week. Uh, thank you for your time, and awesome. uh, we'll, we'll hope to talk to you again on the next season. Yeah, thank you. Likewise. Yeah. yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All right, take thank care. You.